Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Maynard. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support the brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. Okay, today's episode is crazy. I want you guys to buckle your seatbelts, get your popcorn, do whatever you have to do, but just get ready. We're talking about having kids with the wrong person and having bad kids on top of that so this whole thing is just crazy you guys let me know down below if you have experienced this in your relationships or just co-parenting anything like that leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it on the morning show monday okay so love you guys and let's get it Ladies, if you have children by multiple guys and they are problems, you need to lay, you need to, not the guy that you're dating, you need to lay the groundwork up front. And if you haven't laid the groundwork up front, you need to lay the groundwork down now, especially if you want to date. Because the truth of the matter is, terrible children, let's, let's, let's really put this in retrospect. Women with bad children will run good men away. Women with hostile child, child's fathers, right? Will run a good man away. Not saying that he's scared. He'll stand 10, 10 toes down and, and, you know, handle his business. But the truth of the matter is, if there's no time invested and we haven't really got to a committed part in our relationship, I don't want to have to deal with the drama from your child's father. I don't What's going on? They in the sheep. Woo! Oh yeah, you wanna whoop that? I, I almost forgot he was a little kid just me. Oh god. And then stole me in the little Yo What's going on? Man, in the shit. Woo! Oh yeah, you wanna whoop that? I, I almost forgot he was a little kid just me. Oh god. And then stole me in the little Yo don't nobody want to date you because they don't want to put up with your badass kids. Don't let your badass kids be the reason that you end up like the lady in the shoe when you die 70 years old surrounded by 70 cats. We like you. We like everything about you, but your kids are bad. They're disrespectful, and you don't think that nobody should be disciplining these motherfuckers. And that's the problem, that nobody put them in a headlock. Nobody is allowed to correct them. They think that they're grown. What happened to kids staying in a kid's place? There's a lot of women out here and a lot of men that cannot date successfully because their children think that they're their homies. Their children think that they're their equal, and they don't have to respect the partners that are coming into these relationships. Ain't nobody trying to fight the world. Didn't have to come in the house and fight your kids as well. And then when you correct the kids, you want to act like it's the end of the world. When you get into these relationships with these people, you have to let them know who has seniority. You have to let them know where they stand. You are a child. You are going to stay in a child's place. And if you get out of control, I'm giving anybody that I deal with the permission to handle that how they see fit. And if you don't think that the partner that you have should be disciplining your child or saying anything to your child, then this is not the partner for you am i lying and i want my true emotions to be felt through this video and i want for any young lady any any woman who is considering bringing a child into this world with a man who is not even a good enough partner for you i want you to listen to this message <sighs> I'm 37. I'm made 37 today. I'm so blessed to have been able to reach this milestone in my life. And I'm a single mother. I'm a single mother, not by choice, but I'm a single mother because that is what was most, that was what was best for my child. Because the man that I chose, the man that I failed to pay attention to the red flags because of my self-worth at the time because of my low self-esteem because I didn't know who I truly was I did whatever it is that I needed to do to be able to keep a man that did not want to be kept and as a result of that I endured countless years of abuse I endured countless years of torment 
I endured countless years of belittlement, of embarrassment, of ridicule. So many years of that. And I really don't want to get emotional, but I am because it's about my child. And throughout those years, what, what people don't understand about emotional and physical abuse is the grooming and how it can make you forget who you are. It can make you forget the things that were instilled in you at, at birth. You came from a good family. You were raised by a good family. And it takes almost nothing for someone to come into your life who you only want to love you to tear you down and get you to believe all of the horrible things that they're saying about you. That was me. That was me. And because I forgot who I was, because I forgot my strengths and the power that was within me, I allowed myself to have a child with this man. What I want to say to you is this. If a man is not a good partner to you, it is highly likely that they are not going to be a good father for that child. Where I am standing today, I'm stronger. I'm not who I once was. I'm in a lot better of a position. But it's the unnecessary things that come along with it, the unnecessary um, attachment. You know, I've always been the girl who was able to get away with no attachment. But now, I'm not. And I went two years no contact with this man because of the abuse and because of the, the mental anguish that I was subjected to. Because of the abuse that followed with multiple partners that he had during and after our relationship. And just knowing that <clears throat> he was not the best person to be a father to my child. Two years, no contact, still have not spoken to this man. And I literally left it up to him. I left it up to him. Um, it was never about he and I. It was always about his influence on my child. And if he couldn't respect me as a mother, if he was going to cause me heartache, if he was going to cause me just pain because he was so upset that he couldn't handle the rejection of the relationship ending and me no longer wanting to be in that environment with him, he was going to make me miserable. So I cut off all contact. I didn't want my daughter to be influenced by that because I've witnessed what he's done and his influence on his other kids. And I said, not this child. So today, or for the past couple days, he's been calling my mom's phone to talk to my daughter, which I never had any issue with as long as he was respectful. But <clears throat> because there have been numerous incidences where he's put himself in harm's way, he's created dangerous environments and in, in, in situations that I didn't trust my child being with him. You take the moments of speaking with your daughter and you're going to squeeze in there that I'm, I'm going to get visitation. See, that's not a conversation that you need to be having with a child. That is a conversation that you should be having with the adults that are in this situation. Before I close this out, I just want to say I'm going to fight tooth and nail to protect my daughter. With everything in me, I will fight until I have nothing left, until I have no breath in me to fight. Because a lot of people don't understand, and I think the courts and the legal system don't understand, is that it's not about the scars that you can't see. What the legal system doesn't understand is that it's more so about the scars that you can't see and the habits and behaviors that we house and that are planted in the minds of children at a young age that force them to be adults that we are ashamed of. I'm not going to allow that. 
and I'm not going to allow for anyone to dictate anything when it comes to my child. So if you are someone who is thinking about having a child with just period, I don't care if they seem like they hung the moon. Know that person in every season. Make them commit to you. And I'm not saying that a marriage can 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 save because you know people people switch up, people change. I'm not saying marriage is gonna make them be the person that they need to be for you. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is make sure you know that person. And if they are stripping you away or are tearing down at the fabric and foundation of who you are, know that that is not the person that you need to be with, nor is that the person that you need to bring a child into this world with. I never intended on raising my child as a single mother. I was raised Catholic. We don't believe in shacking up. We don't believe in in, in uh, having babies out of wedlock. We don't. You know, I'm not I'm not going to say I'm a, I'm a diehard Catholic either. I, I don't follow the traditions. I'm more Christian and more spiritual. But that's not how I was raised. And to have to endure some of the bullshit that is unnecessary that I would not have had to de- deal with if I had not chosen that specimen to be the father of my child. I would have much rather being married. And I'm again, I'm not saying marriage is going to save it. I'm not saying that. But having a man with having a baby with a man who I know is going to be someone that I would want my daughter to date. I know it's a long message, but hopefully it reaches the right audience. I don't think there's a worse outcome for your life if you're a female than settling down and having babies with the wrong man simply because you feel like that's what you need to do. I've watched so many women around me get married and have babies with the wrong man simply because they feel like they need to check that box, they need to move that milestone, they watch everybody around them get married and have kids and we also live in a society, a patriarchal society that pushes marriage and babies on women so heavily and they will get married and have babies with someone simply because they're, t- they're ready for it, their timing is ready and this person checks enough boxes. And then you see those women that have completely self-abandoned. They no longer live for themselves. They live for their husband and their babies. They care for their husbands just as they do their children. In most cases, they do their husband's laundry. They cook for him. They clean for him. He wouldn't even be capable of doing those things on his own. And when it comes to the children, yeah, he's no help. He never really planned on being an involved father at all. So now they're doing everything. These women are depressed. They usually have completely lost their sense of self. They usually have like the term like let go. It's because they have at this point no capacity to care for themselves or pour into themselves at all. And it's normalized. It's so normalized in our society that women overextend themselves simply because they're women. These are the women that give up on their hopes and dreams. These are the women that suffer from severe severe depression. These are the women that completely self-abandon. And then you have to wait, it's 18 years until a kid leaves the home. That's a major chunk of your life. And then you're going to be co-parenting or dealing with this man in some capacity for the rest of your life because of the children that you share. I cannot stress this enough, do not settle. It is so much better to be single, to not have children, than to be with the wrong partner or to have kids with the wrong partner. Don't have a scarcity mindset when it comes to choosing those things. It is better to wait or it's better for it to not happen at all than it is for it to happen with the wrong person. I feel like having a baby with the wrong person can ruin a relationship because when you, it's a lot of women that have had babies with men and it was just so fucking beautiful. You got this child who doesn't have a father because dude probably didn't even want the baby, 
But if you ain't want the baby, you should have wrapped it up. To feel like you need to go these measures to keep someone around you that you think you love or, or that you know you love and you feel like they love you but they ain't showing the right and you think a baby is gonna make them act right. That's probably the worst way that you can go about anything. We gotta stop doing stuff like that. Stop using the, the child as a toy or a tool in your mental war game. You don't have children with somebody just because you don't want them to leave you. Ladies, you shouldn't want to keep a man who don't want to be kept. If you think that getting pregnant by this man is going to keep him, you are sadly mistaken. Why would you even want to get pregnant by somebody that you feel like this is the way that you got to keep him? Any man that, that want to be around a woman, he's just going to be around that woman. He's going to want to be there. You ain't gonna have to feel like you need to trap him with a baby. Like, I know you might love this man, but if he's not showing it back, he's not the one to show you that love that you're looking for. So don't go and further, further the relationship and move it to a different level. Why would you have a baby by this person? He already showed you he don't love you like how you want to be loved. Now you mad because he don't love the child neither. Well, what did you expect? I, I never would have thought I'd have children, you know what I'm saying, by a man that I end up not even liking. I never would have thought that. You know, it's tough. That's very hard. I know y'all not finna like what I gotta say, but I'ma say this anyways. Being a single mother was never something that was supposed to be normalized in the black community, and there is an ugly mentality that comes along with it that a lot of y'all have. Not everybody, but a good majority of y'all. And this is not to take away from the accountability of the men, they trifling ways, or the neglect that they have placed on these kids, too, because it takes two to make them. But for the ones of y'all that do do this, y'all weaponize y'all kids because you view them as punishments. Everybody got to pitch in and be feeling guilty about the fact that you sat there and had a baby that you knew you could and take care of on top of the fact that every man you date gotta come in and right your wrong want to guilt him into being a stepfather but the same time you could take making him feel bad about that you could take giving that to the real daddy and y'all keep the real daddy away from them making them fight for their kids and inadvertently talking about how they couldn't do it how do you know if you ain't trying to give them custody but y'all got a problem with relinquishing power just because you want to keep some form of control because your feelings got hurt and y'all try to always make these kids feel bad and planning they had the wrong things about their daddy because he wasn't your man or he didn't know how to be your man accordingly and you still ain't moved on. Junior 12, fixing all these generational curses, but y'all really just create new ones on the basis of the ones that we already got. While you trying to sit there and repair them, you're inadvertently creating a very antisocial and individualistic society that knows how to only victimize themselves because they can't see any wrong or be held accountable. We were supposed to tell these young girls not to fall down the rabbit hole, not make them feel like this is normal and this okay. Go ahead and have a baby and then leave them as soon as they become a parent. A few things I can say. One thing is when you have a baby and the baby comes into the picture, it's no longer about those two people in a relationship than it is about that baby in that particular situation. And having the kids and having kids with the wrong person, it happens. You know, things happen, but it's how you deal with the situations after the fact. And just make sure the person that you're loving on and the person that's loving on you is the right person for you. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.